Hi, my name is Oyinka Braithwaite, and I am the author of My Sister, the Serial Killer. You're going to want to read this book. It is about two sisters, the older sister, Corey Day, and the younger sister, Ayola. Ayola is a serial killer, unfortunately, and Corey Day always has to clean up after her. Things get interesting when Ayola decides to start dating Corey Day's crush. So today I'm in my favorite place in the world, Waterstones, and I'm at the Piccadilly branch to tell you about the three books that give me inspiration as a writer. So we're going to start with Jane Eyre. And ooh, Jane Eyre is my favorite book in the whole world. I just love it. I've loved it since I was about 10. Um, I was surprised to find that people think it's a gothic novel because for me, um, I just thought it was a beautiful romance. So I guess that says a lot about my sense of humor or what I think romance is. But um, I really did love this book and it's written in first person, which I think is maybe why Corriday tells her story in first person. And um, Jane also happens to be someone who's not considered to be very attractive. And just seeing how Charlotte Bronte navigates this and sort of tells this really beautiful story um, intrigued me then and intrigues me still. All right, so um, the second book I want to talk about is Great Expectations, and we have it here. Um, Great Expectations is by Charles Dickens, and um, my two favorite characters in the book are Miss Havisham and Estella. And what's really interesting about Estella is that she's been groomed to be a heartbreaker. She's been groomed to break the hearts of men, and I just, um, I was entertained by her. I found her really um, engaging, and I think there's probably a little bit of her in Iola. So now we're on the second floor where the children's books are, and we are coming to my third book, which is Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters. So please buy this book for your kids. It's fantastic. Um, and interestingly enough, it's about two sisters as well who they're both beautiful, but one is evil on the inside. And that's really important. Who we are on the inside matters. So um, this book definitely, I mean, is beautifully illustrated. It's a lovely book to read. So that's it.